have been positioned to dominate. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 through 6. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. This is an amazing revelation that God gave through the Apostle Paul of what he has done for the believer in Christ Jesus. It tells us that though we were dead in sins, God raised us up together with Jesus and he has made us sit together in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. Now where is Christ Jesus seated? He is, seated, he is seated at the Father's right hand in the highest throne. The Bible says, above all principality and power and might and dominion, that is where Jesus Christ is seated. And the Bible is saying that God has raised us up as believers and he has placed us right there in Christ Jesus at his own right hand. So as believers, we must understand our spiritual position. Now, in the natural realm, of course, we are in this earth, we live in a body, uh, and we contend with all the things around us. There are challenges and difficulties that we face on the earth in, in everyday life, and all of that is uh, true in the sense that these are facts that we have to face up with. But in the spiritual realm, spiritually, we are positioned at the Father's right hand. We are positioned on the throne in Christ. Now, why would God do this? I mean, is it just uh, some sort of a decorative thing that he's doing so that he says, you know, just be happy you're sitting next to me, but you're going to suffer on the earth? Or is it an intentional thing? Is it a purposeful thing? We understand that God has positioned us in Christ so that we can live out of that here on earth. The Bible says in him we live and move and have our being. That means the life that we have in him, we have exercised to live out of it here on earth. As he is, so are we on the earth. We live out of our in Christ life here on the earth, which would include our being positioned in this place of dominion and authority in Christ Jesus. So we are positioned in a place of dominion and we can live out of that here on the earth. The earth is our realm. It's a realm of our jurisdiction. It's the environment in which we operate and we face all kinds of things on the earth realm. But right here and in this earth realm, we have the opportunity to live out of that spiritual position of authority and bring that to bear on our everyday life. That's what we want to talk about the rest of this week. How do we live out of the fact that we are redeemed to reign and that we are positioned to dominate? How do we live out of that spiritual truth, that spiritual reality in our everyday life? How do we live life with our spiritual dominion given to us in Christ? Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will continue to open our hearts and minds and give us revelation so that we will learn how to live out of our position of dominion in our daily lives. Give us the courage to step into it and to walk in it. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.